Hello Great Knives, in this video I will be covering the concept of debiting and crediting accounts and I'm going to explain it with T accounts together with um, account debited and credited and the accounting equation so that you can see how everything works together. Obviously in a question I can't, can't ask everything at the same time so sometimes I will ask T accounts, sometimes we will ask accounts debited and credited and then the effect on the accounting equation. But I'm going to combine that to explain a principle. Alright, so let's take the account equipment. Now what kind of account is equipment? Alright, equipment is an asset account. Right, so I'm going to write here asset. Okay. Now the rule of asset states that on the left hand or debit side it increases right hand and credit or and right hand or credit side it decreases okay um, let's put this over here let's make this account bank and let's put another account here and let's make that account um, something like stationary okay all right so let's do the equipment one first all right so equipment is an asset increases on the debit side decreases on the credit side let's say I buy equipment so what will happen to the equipment the equipment will increase the equipment will increase so let's do it here together with um, this part here so I'm gonna put let's say it was 5,000 rand I put the 5,000 here so 5,000 on the left hand side or debit side means equipment at the top is debited with 5,000 rand. So let's put it in here and I'm going to write equipment over there. Right, so it's on the debit side, so I write on the debit side there as well. Okay, what happened to my equipment? My equipment increased with 5,000 rand. So on the plus side, the left hand or debit side, I'm going to put it. Can you see that the rule of assets is stated here as well? There's the, the plus and the plus. And the credit side and the credit side the minus okay but can you see we didn't say how we bought this equipment it became more so if it becomes more it means I bought the equipment all right so how did I buy the equipment where did I get the money so in this case if I bought it through the bank and the CRJ because oh so, sorry CPJ CPJ it means I paid for it and that's why I put it on the left hand side but now equipment is debited with 5000 Rand not bank All right so bank um, will be credited that's the only other option but I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do now um, so if equipment is is debited with 5000 Rand okay Equipment is at the top, bank is at the bottom now. Now, for bank to be at the top, I'm going to swap it around. I'm going to put bank at the top now. I must, in accounting, always have a debit and a credit. So I must put the 5,000 Rand on the credit side. So this means bank is credited with 5,000 Rand. Okay? So I'm going to put the 5,000 there as well. Okay? because it's a minus under assets bank gets credited with 5000 rand always the one at the top is the one naming or telling you that account is either debited or credited depending on where I put the amount so I put the amount on the credit side so bank gets credited with 5000 rand but what did I buy with the money in the bank I bought equipment yes so I'm going to put equipment here, but remember still bank is credited with 5000 Rand, not equipment. Equipment is at the bottom now. For equipment to be at the top, we must go to the other side, to the debit side. Alright, so, and this is also CBJ that we do it in. Alright, so equipment is debited, bank is credited, but think about it as well. You bought the equipment bank sorry bank is also an asset bank is also an asset 
assets increase on this side and decrease on the credit side okay as assets stated at the top here as well so what happened to the money in the bank account it decreased and that's exactly what you are showing there as well your bank decreased with 5000 rand okay your bank decreased with the 5000 rand um, because your asset bank decreases that's why we put the 5000 rand on this side as well right so that's just the principle but let's say now I'm buying stationery okay so second example so this was example number one so in second example I'm gonna buy stationery okay so let's start with the bank let's say it was 500 or a uh, thousand rand we bought stationery of a thousand rand so what will happen if I bought it cash what will happen to the bank account okay my bank account will decrease so I'm gonna put the thousand rand here so bank is credited with a thousand rand so I'm gonna write bank over there okay and under under the minus I'm gonna put a thousand rand there so there's a minus on the credit side so there's the thousand on the credit side so what did I buy stationery so I'm gonna put stationery here as well and I'm gonna write CPJ okay so this is thousand rand stationery so bank is credited with 5,000 rand and has to do with the equipment bank is also credited with the 1,000 rand it has to do with stationery but now bank is credited with a thousand rand but the other account is stationary so if I want to take stationery to the top I have to go to the other side I'm already on the credit side so now I must go to the debit side I must put a thousand there and where did I get the money to buy the stationery from the bank so I write bank here all right so stationery is debited with a thousand rand so I'm going to write stationery over here okay but now why is it on the debit side stationery is owner's equity so I'm going to write owner's equity here as well. Owner's equity plus on the credit side minus on the debit side. Now stationery is expense. And why do we put it on the debit side? Why do we put it here? Why do we put the thousand rand over there? The reason for that is owner's equity is the money of the business. And we are paying for stationery so the money of the business decreases. And that's why we put it on the left hand or debit side all right so just an example in terms of that i want to give you one more example and let's say i bought equipment now again and i bought this equipment i bought this equipment and i bought it on credit that means i didn't pay okay so let's say it was 2,000 Rand worth of equipment that I bought. So my equipment increases. So that's why I put the 2,000 Rand on this side. I've got 2,000 Rand more equipment. Okay. So again, I'm going to put equipment on the debit side because equipment becomes more with 2,000 Rand. So I'm going to put the 2,000 Rand over here as well. But in this case, I didn't have the money, so I bought it on credit. So I'm going to write creditors control. And creditors control, again, see, uh, so see, again, creditors control. Um, this is something that we haven't done before, but I'm just explaining to you. See, if I bought it on credit, um, yeah, so I bought it on credit, so it's going to be creditors control over here okay bought it on credit so creditors controls over here so then creditors control is a liability account all right creditors control is a liability account so i'm going to draw the t account for for creditors control okay it's a liability right so the plus is on that side, the minus is on that side. Okay, so let's do that part first. So equipment is there, there's a 2000 rand. Creditors control is a liability. All right, and I've got more liabilities now. 
So plus 2,000 over there. Right, so plus 2,000 under assets, more assets, plus 2,000 under liabilities, more liabilities. Again, the double entry. Equipment at the top, creditors control at the bottom. To swap it now, creditors control to the top, so equipment must go to the bottom, but to the other side. And there we have the equipment, we write it in there. But don't forget, creditors control is credited with 2,000 Rand, and equipment is debited with 2,000 Rand. Okay, just a last check here. Plus 5,000 and minus 5,000 equal to zero. There's an equal sign in the middle, zero is equal to zero. Okay, again, bank decreases, okay, with 1,000 Rand. Okay, stationery makes the owner's equity of the business less, the money of the business less. Equipment increases with 2,000 Rand. Liabilities, creditors control, increases with 2,000 Rand. Okay, so let's do one last one, stationery. Let's say um, we look at stationery and we buy stationery on credit. Okay, so stationery again, right? If we get more stationery, it makes the money of the business less. So we're going to say, let's say uh, 50 Rand. Okay. 50 Rand worth of stationery. And so stationery is debited with 50 Rand. I'll write stationery over here. Okay. And again, stationery is owner's equity. Okay. And it makes the money of the business less on which side? Look here left hand or minus or debit side right so i'm going to put the 50 rand over there so it makes the money of the business less let's say i also didn't pay for it so i'm going to write credit this control here over here right okay so 50 rand minus 50 under credit or under owner's equity because it's stationary and now it's on the credit side, it's a liability. So I'm going to put the 50 Rand over there because I've got more liabilities. Now look at this. Equal sign in the middle. Plus 50 and minus 50 gives me 0. And there's 0 on this side as well. So it works out correctly. So this is just a principle of explaining to you to end off. Equipment is debited with 5,000 Rand and with 2,000 Rand. This equipment... I bought cash, that equipment I bought on credit. Alright, and then lastly we have to add the 50 Rand on this side as well. Alright, so creditors control 50 Rand and what was it for? What did we buy? We bought stationery. So now we've got 50 Rand uh, on the debit side here and we've got 50 Rand on the credit side. So it balances. There we've got 2000 Rand on the debit side or the credit side. And we've also got the 2000 on the debit side. Alright, so that's the principle of how to know if account is debited or credited.